سمیع البصیر والمتکلم سو ہی سمیع دیٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالی از اول ہیرنگ لائک وائز البصیر اول سینگ ان المتکلم سپیکنگ نا دس اگین وین وی سی اللہ سبحان و تعالی از اول ہیرنگ دس پری کلوڈز اوگنز اللہ سبحان و تعالی از فری فرام اوگنز فرام باڈی پارٹس ہی ڈز ناٹ نیڈ an ear to hear and his attribute of hearing is beyond sound waves so human beings and creatures hear sound waves the divine attribute of a summer is beyond the sound that we may hear meaning the the divine attribute of a summer is an attribute that hears even sound uh, even shapes and colors It goes beyond anything uh, which is within the scope of our, of our limited hearing. Likewise, Al-Basir, <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being all-seeing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His divine sight is beyond colors and shapes. So He sees sounds. What we deem as being sounds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees that. Likewise, Al-Mutakallim, Kalam Allah, the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a divine attribute. Now this, uh, here and in this point, uh, the, some of the pseudo-Salafi movement in the modern era, what they do is they say the Ash'aris, meaning the Ahl sunnah wal Jama'ah, say that the Qur'an is created. This is incorrect. The Qur'an is the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kalam Allah is a divine attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what did the Ash'ari school say? What was the correct position? What they said was that when we recite Quran, the pages of the Quran are created. The ink of the Quran is created. The actions of the Qari are created. Makhluq. The sound waves are created. But the Madlul, What this signifies is not created. What this signifies is not created. It's the speech of Allah. How? If someone says the name Allah, or they write down the name Allah, the ink by which they write down Allah is created. The paper is created. The person pronouncing the name Allah is created. His action is created. But what the name signifies is not created, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Qur'an is not created. You cannot say the Qur'an is created. While Al-Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal rahimahullah ta'ala took a stricter position. His stricter position, which is a valid Sunni position because it's from a great Imam, Abahal Sunnah wal Jama'ah, is that a person should not say the paper is created, the ink is created, Uh, the recitation is created. They should avoid these statements. Why? Because it led to the bid'ah innovation of the Mu'tazila. What did the Mu'tazila say? They said the Quran is created. The speech of Allah is created. But the Ash'ari school did not say the Quran is created or the Kalam of Allah is created. In order to remove the doubts that the Mu'tazila had placed in the minds of people who had read philosophical works, the Ash'ari school went into detail regarding this and they said yes, in order to respond to the doubts of the Mu'tazila. They said yes, the paper is created, the ink is created, but what the Quran signifies is not created, which is the divine attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is something very important to understand because there are people who misinform the public by saying the Ash'ari school because we live in the age of spin. Every issue now is a spin. Someone will say one thing, a spin is given unto that thing. Likewise, a spin can be given to anything. So this is something that needs clarification. So, سَمِيعُ الْبَصِيرُ وَالْمُتَكَلِّمُ لَهُ صِفَاتٌ سَبْعَةٌ تَنْتَظِيمُ He has attributes seven تَنْتَظِيمُ that are ordered. So, These attributes Qudra, um, Irada, Sam'a, Basar, Hayat, Ilm, Kalam Seven attributes 
These are known as Sifatul Ma'ani. They are known as Sifatul Ma'ani. When these attributes are in action, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being murid, being willing, those are known as as Sifatul Ma'nawiyyah. Those attributes are known as as Sifatul Ma'nawiyyah. So he states, Fakudratun, divine power, Iradatun, will, Sam'un, hearing, Basarun, uh, divine vision, Hayatun, knowledge, Al Ilmu, divine, uh, Hayatun, divine life, Al Ilmu, divine knowledge, Kalamun, istamar, meaning istimrar is continuation. These are the attributes. But are the attributes limited to 20? The, the answer is no. The divine attributes are endless, eternal and endless. But these 20 attributes are those attributes that a person should know with summary and some detail. Every Muslim should know. So the author states, so this is a completion now of 20 attributes. This is a completion of 20 attributes.